children in this video i am going to explain exercise 6.4 uh, question number uh, 3 up to question number 2 we have done in the last video now let's see this question using identities write the following as algebra expressions using the identities we have to write the uh, this following expressions as algebra expressions some expressions it is given here 5x minus 2y plus 3z square b 9 by 2x minus 4 by 3y the whole cube 5x plus 4y the whole cube <coughs> we have studied 7 formulas out of that 7 formulas last 3 formulas uh, there is uh, some more formulas not the standard formulas that formulas we have to use here to express it as an algebraic expression so first question question number a 5x minus 2y plus 3z the whole square. First we have to write the question once more. 5x minus 2y plus 3z the whole square. It is of the form x plus y plus z the whole square. x plus y plus z the whole square is equal to what is the formula? We have studied that formula. x plus y plus z the whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2xz. Then write the question once more below that. After that we can express it as an algebra expression of 5x minus 2y. That we will write, we will make it like that. This minus we will split it into plus and minus. That is plus into minus it will become uh, minus. Because this, uh, this one here I made it as plus because in the formula it is uh, plus y. So this minus I split it into 2 plus and uh, minus plus into minus it will become a minus value will not change. Plus 3 is at the whole square. Plus 3 is at the whole square. So now you see in place of x it is here. In our question it is uh, 5x. After that plus in place of y it is minus 2y plus in place of z it is 3z. Uh, so in place of x, y, z, these values we have to write that much only there. So x is equal to 5x. So x square it will come uh, 5x square plus y square. y is equal to minus 2y. So y square it will come minus 2y square plus z square. z is equal to 3z. So z square is equal to uh, 3z square plus 2 into x into y. 5x into minus 2y, 2 into 5x into minus 2y plus 2yz, 2 into y minus 2y into z that is 3z plus 2xy, 2 into x into sorry 2xz, 2 into x into z, 2 into x is equal to x is equal to 5x and z is equal to 3z, 5x into 3z, 5x into 3 is it. Then that is equal to that is equal to 5x square. 5x is multiplying two times. 5x into 5x. 5 5s are 25. 5 5s are 25. x into x, x square. Or direct also you can do that. 5 square, 5 5s are 25. x square, x square. Plus minus 2y square. Minus 2y is multiplying two times. Minus 2y into minus 2y. Minus 2y into minus 2y is equal to minus into minus plus 2 2 is a, a 4 y into y a y square then plus 4 y square plus 4 y square plus 3 z square 3 z is multiplying 2 times 3 z into 3 z 3 3 is a 9 z square z into z z square now plus into plus plus into minus plus into minus it will become minus 2 5 is a 10 10 2 is a 20 x into y xy plus into minus minus 2 2 is 4 4 3 is 12 y is 12 y is plus 2 5 is 10 10 3 is 30 x into is x is that is the algebraic expression now let's see question number b question number b 9 by 2 x minus 4 by 3 y the whole cube it is of the form a x minus y the whole cube x minus y the whole cube is equal to 
We have studied for two formulas, x minus y the whole cube. First formula we will use here, that is x cube plus, sorry, x cube minus, here it is, x minus y the whole cube. So it will come x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube. That is the formula x minus y the whole cube. So this question is in the form x minus y the whole cube. Write the question once more below that. That is 9 by 2x minus 4 by 3y the whole cube is equal to x is equal to x is equal to here 9 by 2 minus y is equal to 4 by 3y. So in place of x we have to write 9 by 2x and in place of y we will write 4 by 3y. So x cube what will come? 9 by 2 x the whole cube minus 3 into x square 9 by 2 x square into y in place of y we have to write 4 by 3 y 4 by 3 y after that plus 3 into x x is equal to 9 by 2 x x is equal to 9 by 2 x into y square that is 4 by 3 y square 4 by 3 y the whole square minus y cube 4 by 3 y cube 4 by 3 y the whole cube then that is equal to 9 by 2 x cube 9 cube 9 is multiplying 3 times 9 nines are 81 81 into 9 81 into 9 9 8 nines are uh, 72 729 729 divided by 2 cube 2 is multiplying 3 times 2 2 is 4 4 2 is 8 x cube x cube minus uh, 3 into 9 by 2 x the whole square 9 square 9 9 is 81 divided by 2 square 2 2 is 4 x square x square into 4 by 3 y 4 by 3 y plus 3 into 9 by 2 3 into 9 by 2 x into 4 square 4 4 is 16 divided by 3 square, 3 3 is 9, y square, y square, minus 4 cube, 4 4 is 16, 16 into 4, that is 64, uh, divided by 3 cube, 3 3 is 9, 9 3 is 27, y cube, it is y cube. Now we have to multiply this one. Here, 3 into 81 by 4 x square into 4 by 3 y, so here it is into sign multiplying, that is why we can cancel this uh, 4 and 4. This 3 and 3 also we can cancel because it is in between that into. Then that is equal to 729 divided by 8 x cube minus. Here 3, 4 cancel. Here 3, 4 cancel. Y is there? 81 x square y. 81 x square y. After that uh, plus. Here what we can cancel? 3 divided by 3 divided by 9 we can cancel. 3, 3 is a 9. 9 divided by 3 we can cancel, 3 3 is 9, 16 divided by 2 that is 8, so here remaining it is 3 into 8, 3 3 eights are 24, into x is there, into y square, x y square minus 64 divided by 27, that we cannot cancel, y cube, so what is the answer, 729 by 8 x cube minus 81 x square y plus 24 xy square minus 64 divided by 27 y cube. That is the answer. Now let's see question number C. 5x plus 4y the whole cube. 5x plus 4y the whole cube. Which formula we can use here? Which formula we, have, we are going to use here? That formula you have to write first. Here it is x plus y the whole cube. X plus y the whole cube is equal to what is the formula x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube then write the question below that 5x plus 4y the whole cube is equal to x is equal to 5x plus y is equal to 4y so x cube it will come 5x cube plus 3 into x square, 5x square into y, y is equal to 4y here, 4y plus 3 into x, that is 5x in our position, into y square, 
that is 4y square 4y square plus y cube 4y cube then that is equal to 5x cube 5x is multiplying three times or 5 cube we will find out first then after that x cube 5 cube what is answer 5 5 is 25 25 5 is 125 x cube x cube plus 3 into 5 x square 5 square 5 5 is 25 x square x square into 4 y plus 3 5 is 15 x into 4 square 4 4 is 16 y square plus 4 cube 4 4 is 16 16 4 is 64 y cube 4 cube 64 and y cube y cube then that is equal to 125 x cube plus 4 into 25 that is 100 100 into 3 that is 300 x square y plus 15 into 16 that we have to multiply 15 into 16 6 5 is 30 0 remainder 3 6 1 is 6 plus 3 9 5 1 is 5 1 1 is 1 0 9 plus 5, 14, 4, remainder 1, 1 plus 1, uh, 2, 240. 240, x, y square, x, y square, plus 64, y cube, 64, y cube. That is the answer. Now, in this question, not only up to C, it is uh, question number up to uh, F is there. So, that remaining questions, you have to do it by yourself. Using these formulas only, first formula we, we have used, x plus y plus is at the whole square second formula x minus y second question x minus y the whole cube and the third question we have done by using this formula x plus y the whole cube so using these three formulas you can do do that remaining uh, questions so that you do it by yourself now let's see question number uh, four simplify the following expressions question number a 4x plus 5y square minus 4x minus 5y square Question number C, 8x minus 6y the whole cube plus 8x plus 6y the whole cube. One minus and one plus question I wrote. Question number B and D that you do it by yourself using the same formulas will be. So first question, question number A. 4x plus 5y the whole square minus 4x minus 5y. The whole square 4x plus 5y the whole square it is of the form a plus b the whole square a plus b the whole square is equal to formula we have studied that a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and it is of the form a minus b the whole square a minus b the whole square is equal to what is the formula a square minus 2ab plus b square so using the two formulas, we are going to expand these two expressions. So first one, that is equal to 4x plus 5y the whole square. It is of the form a plus b the whole square. Answer is a square plus 2ab plus b square. In place of a, it is here 4x and b it is here 5y. So what will come answer? 4x square plus 2 into 4x into 5y plus b square. Last term is b square. That will come a 5y square then after that here sign is minus after the minus sign we have to put a square bracket if it is plus then no need of putting the square bracket plus into any number it will become plus only but here outside minus is here this with the minus sign we have to multiply to all the terms that is why we are putting that a square bracket after the minus sign we have to put the square bracket then expand this one 4x minus 5y the whole square it is of the form a minus b the whole square. a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. In place of a it is here 4x and b it is here 5y. So what will come answer? 4x square minus 2ab. 2 into 4x into 5y plus b square that is 5y square. Then close the square bracket. Now that is equal to. 4x square, 4 square, 4 4 is 16, x square, x square, plus 2 5 is 10, 4 is 40 into x into y, xy, plus 5y square, 5y is multiplying 2 times, 5 5 is 25, y square, y square, then 25, y square, minus 
square. 4x square. Same it will come. 16x square minus 2 4 are 8. 8 5 sir. Uh, 40 xy plus 5y square. 5 5 sir. 25 y into y. y square. 25 y square. Then cross the square bracket. That is equal to. Now we have to remove that uh, square bracket. How can we remove that? 16x square plus uh, 40xy plus 25y square. We will write as it is. Now multiply this minus sign to remove the bracket. Minus into 16x square minus 16x square minus into minus plus 40xy minus into plus minus 25y square. Then that is equal to 16x square minus 16x square. It will become 0. 25x square minus 25x square. 25 minus 25, 0y square. That is 0 only. 25y square minus 25y square, 0. So that is why we can cancel that. Remind me what is here. 40xy plus 40xy plus 40xy. 40xy plus 40xy is equal to 40 plus 40. That is 80xy. That is the answer. Now let's see question number C. 8x minus 6y the whole cube plus 8x plus 6y the whole cube that is equal to 8x minus 6y the whole cube it is of the form a x minus y the whole cube and here 8x plus 6y the whole cube it is of the form x plus y the whole cube x plus y the whole cube is equal to what is the formula x plus y the whole cube is equal to x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. x minus y the whole cube. x minus y the whole cube is equal to x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube. So using that two formulas we have to expand these two. From there we will get the answer. 8x minus 6y the whole cube. It is of the form x minus y the whole cube. Answer is x cube minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cube. In place of x it is here 8x and in place of y it is here a 6y. So what will come answer? First one is x cube that is 8x cube minus 3 into x square 8x square into y that is 6y plus 3xy square 3 into x 8x into y square that is 6y square minus y cube that is 6y cube 6y cube after that now we have expanded this one x cube minus 3 into x square into y plus 3 into x into y square minus y cube now after that plus sign is there plus next one 8x plus 6y the whole cube I told that earlier also here it is plus sign so after the plus sign there is then no need of putting this square bracket if it is minus, then after that you have to put the square bracket. That much only. So if here it is plus. So no need of putting that uh, a square bracket. Now we will expand this one. 8x plus 6y the whole cube. It is of the form x plus y the whole cube. And in place of x it is here 8x. And in place of y it is here uh, 6y. So x cube plus 3x square y plus 3x y square, y square plus y cube is equal to what will come answer here? 8x cube plus uh, 3 into 8x square into 6y plus 3xy square plus 3 into x 8x into y square 6y square plus y cube that is 6y cube that is equal to 8x cube 8x is multiplying 3 times 8 are 64 64 into 8 64 into 8 8 4 sir, 32 2, reminder 3, 6 a sir, 48 plus 3, 51, that is 500 tall. 500 uh, tall, x cube, that is x cube, minus 3 into 8 x square. 8 x is multiplying 2 times, 8 8 sir, 64 x square into uh, 6 y, plus 3 a sir, 24 x into 6y square, 6y is multiplying 2 times, 6 6 are 36y square minus 6y cube, 6y is multiplying 3 times, 6 6 are 36, 36 into 6, 36 into 6, 216, 6 6 are 36, 6 reminder 3, 
6 3s are 18 plus 3, 21, 216, 216 x, sorry, y cube plus 8 x cube, already we got here, 8 x cube, 500 tall x cube, 500 tall x cube plus 3 into 8 x square, 8 x square it is 64 x square, 64 x square into 6 y plus 3 x are 24 x into 6 y square, 6 x are 36 y square plus 6 cube, that is 216, 216 y cube. Now multiply it, that is equal to 500 tall x cube, we will write as it is, minus 6 3 is 18 into 64, 3 into 6 into 64, 6 3 is 18 into 64, 18 into 64, 18 into 64, 8 4 is 32 2, a reminder 3, 4 1 is 4 plus 3, 7, 6 3 is 48, 8, uh, remainder 4, then 6 1 is 6 plus 4, uh, 10, uh, 2, 7 plus 8, 15, 5, remainder 1, 1, 1152, 1152, x square y, x square y, plus 24 into 36, 24 into uh, 36, 24 into 36, 6 4 is 24, 4, uh, remainder 2, 6 2 is 12 plus 2, 14, 4 3 is 12, 2, remainder 1, 2 3 is 6 plus 1, 7, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 7 plus 1, 8, 864, 864, xy square is there, xy square minus 216 y cube plus 500 tall x cube, we will write as it is, 500 tall x cube plus 6 3 is 18 into 64, 18 into 64, 1100, 1152 x square y plus 24 into 36 that we got 864 864 x x y square plus 216 y cube 216 y cube now you see here 1152 x square y it is minus 1152 x square y it is plus minus plus it will become uh, 0 that is one number is negative, one is positive, subtracting and putting largest number sign. While subtracting, you will get 0 because both it is 1152. X square y, x square y, they are like terms, so we can add it. So that will become 0. Again, again what is there? Uh, 216 y cube minus 216 y cube plus 216 y cube, both we can uh, cancel. That also become uh, 0. Now, like terms, you add it. That is equal to 500 tall x cube. That is this one. Again, x cube term is there. That is 500 tall x cube plus 500 tall x cube plus 864 xy square. Here, plus 864 xy square is there. Plus 864 xy square. Now, add it. 500 tall plus 500 tall. That is equal to 2 plus 2, 4. 1 plus 1, 2. 5 plus 5. Uh, 10, 1024 x cube plus 864 xy square plus 864 xy square xy square xy square they are like tails so we can add it 864 plus 864 plus 864 4 plus 4 8 6 plus 6 uh, tall 2 remainder 1 8 plus 8 16 plus 1 uh, 17 1728 1728 xy square that is the answer now, remaining questions, question number uh, B and D, that you do it by yourself. Now, let's see question number uh, 5. Using identities, evaluate the uh, following. A, 95 square, B, 106 square, and after that I wrote question number E. Because C and D, uh, same, same as question number A and B only. Question number E, 46 square minus 44 square, and question number G, 66 into uh, 63. Remaining questions uh, in this uh, form only that you do it by yourself. Now, 95 square, 95 into 95. If you are multiplying two times, we will get the answer. But in the question, it is given there using identities. We have to use the identities to find out the value of 95 square. So, first one, 
95 square 95 square is equal to we can write 95 square we can write it as 90 plus 5 the whole square or 100 minus 5 the whole square 100 minus 5 the whole square that will be easy instead of writing 90 plus 5 90 plus 5 also you can use it and we will use a plus b the whole square here I wrote 100 minus 5 the whole square it will be little more easy so after that we have to use the formula which formula we can use here a minus b the whole square a minus b the whole square is equal to what is the formula a square minus 2ab plus b square 100 minus 5 the whole square 100 minus 5 the whole square is equal to 95 square 100 minus 5 100 minus 5 is equal to we will get 95 then here a minus b the whole square formula we will use a square minus 2ab plus b square and here question 100 minus 5 the whole square in place of a it is here 100 and in place of b it is here uh, 5 so a is equal to what you like 100 square minus 2 into a is equal to 100 into b is equal to b is equal to 5 plus b square that is plus 5 square that is equal to 100 square 1 square 1 2 zeros are here so in the answer how many zeros it will come 4 zeros then the minus 2 fives are 10 into 100 plus 5 square 5 fives are 25 that is equal to 10,000 minus 10 into 100 that is 1000 plus 25 that is equal to 10,000 minus 1000 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 10 minus 1 that is 9 10,000 minus 1000 9000 plus 25 plus 25 that is equal to 9025 that is the answer so 95 square is equal to what is the answer 9025 i told already 95 into 95 if you multiply you will get the same answer only but we have to use the identities here in the question it is given using the identities you are with the following that is why 95 we split into 100 minus 5 and after that we have used the formula a minus b the whole square that same way we are going to do question number b also question number b 106 the whole square how can we split that for using the identity we have to split it 106 the whole square 100 plus 6 is 106 106 100 plus 6 is 106 now here we can use the formula a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square write the question once more 100 my sorry plus 6 the whole square is equal to a is equal to 100, b is equal to uh, 6. a is equal to 100, 100 square plus uh, 2 into a is equal to 100 into b is equal to 6 plus b square uh, 6 square. That is equal to 100 square, 10,000. 1 square, 1. 2 zeros are here. So when we are taking this square, it will become 4 zeros plus uh, 2 six are 12. 12 into 100, that is 1,200. 2 into 6 tall into 1 tall and 2 zeros are there that means 1200 plus 6 square 6 6 are 36 now add it that is equal to 10,000 plus 1200 plus 36 1236 now add it that is equal to 0 plus 6 6 0 plus 3 3 0 plus 2 2 0 plus 1 1 and here 1 is there 11,236 that is the answer. Now let us see question number E. 46 square minus 44 square. Which formula we can use here? A square minus B square is equal to A plus B into A minus B. This formula we have studied just opposite. A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. That way we have studied this formula. So here we are going to use uh, just opposite because the question is uh, 46 square minus uh, 44 uh, square. A square it is of the form A square minus B square that is why we use that formula just opposite. A square minus B square is equal to A plus B into A minus B. In place of A it is here 46 and in place of B it is here 44. That we have to write there that much only 46 plus 44 into uh, 46 minus uh, 44. 
then that is equal to 6 plus 4, 10, 0, remainder 1, 4 plus 4, 8 plus 1, 9, 90 into 46 minus 44, 6 minus 4, 2, 4 minus 4, 0, that is equal to 2 into 0, 0, 2 nines are 18, so what is that sir, 180, that is the answer. Now let us see question number uh, G. 66 into 63. 66 into 63. We can write as uh, 60 plus uh, 6. 60 plus 6 is 66. Into uh, 60 plus 3 is uh, 63. Here we can use the first formula. X plus A into X plus B is equal to X square plus A plus B into X plus B. A B X plus X square plus A plus B into X plus A B. Then write the question once more. Uh, 60 plus uh, 6 into uh, 60 plus uh, 3 is equal to in place of X it is here uh, 60. So X square it will come uh, 60 square plus A plus B. A is equal to 6, B is equal to 3. 6 plus 3. 6 plus uh, 3 into x is equal to, x is equal to uh, 60, uh, 60 plus a into b, 6 into uh, 3, that is equal to 60 square, 6 square, 6, 6 are uh, 36, 1 0 is there, when we are taking this square, 2 zero it will come, double zero it will come, plus 6 plus 3, that is uh, 9, into uh, 60 plus uh, 6, 3 is all, 18, that is equal to 3600 plus 9, 6 are uh, 54, then 1 0 is here plus 18. Now add it. That is equal to 3600 plus 0 plus 8, 8. 4 plus 1, 5. And 5 is here, 558. Now add it these two. 0 plus 8, 8. 0 plus 5, 5. 6 plus 5, 11, 1. Remainder 1. 3 plus 1, 4. 4158. That is the answer. Okay, now. The remaining questions you do it by uh, yourself. Then under question number again in this exercise 6.4 again some more questions are there 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up to 10 questions are there that we will do in the next video. Thank you so much.